do in Southfield. You're checking it out here. Our cameras were rolling. When heroes work to delicately repel a man down the side of a building to safety. Now, the rescue took place this afternoon in Southfield. And we're told the man did end up suffering an injury while working high up on the roof. Let's get right to Fox News. Jessica Dupnek, she's live. And Jessica, you just happened to stumble on this really frightening scene. How did that all happen? Yeah, admittedly, we were on our way to lunch, myself and uh, photographer Scott, driving in Southfield on Northwestern near Evergreen. We saw a ton of firefighters uh, here in this parking lot. Then we looked up on the roof of this five-story building. It's an office building. That's where our story begins. We're told this kind of rescue, very rare. Just take a look at this, an injured worker being rescued from a five-story building. The only way off that roof, down this side of the building, dangling below the basket, Southfield firefighter Nate Herr. Nervous at all? More nervous for this. For sure, 100%. <laughs> he can laugh about it now because everyone is safe. Trained for 16 years for it, but it's the first time I've been on duty when we had one. And the lieutenant running the rescue for Southfield Fire Thursday in his 16 years never done anything like this. Every day is different. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. You remember that devastating fire at Oakland Hills Country Club in nearby Bloomfield Township earlier this year. These two were the ones that went in and saved all those irreplaceable historical golf trophies. Even more precious cargo to be saved Thursday afternoon. It's not a 160 pound rescue dummy. This time it was an employee hanging banners at this office space off Northwestern near Evergreen. He fell off an A frame ladder and got hurt and stranded. There wasn't a, a door for us just to go into to go down the elevator. There was a, a door going out, a ladder going up. He had to walk across the top roof to another ladder going down. The worker cold and nervous, especially when they went over the edge. So I was just trying to keep him joking a little bit and kind of relaxed. He was a uh, Made fun of his Lakers hat for a minute, told him this is Pistons country, and that was about it. <laughs> Before he knew it, they were on the ground and into a waiting ambulance. We're told he's going to be okay, thanks to these guys. It was very appreciative. What did he say? Just uh, something about buying me a beer one day. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, beer. Maybe uh, he earned a six pack out here today. In true firefighter fashion, of course, firefighter Nate there earned himself a new nickname. It's Hanging Nate. He's never going to shake that. But good news to report out here. We are so glad that worker is okay. Uh, Could have ended a lot differently. But hats off to those Southfield firefighters. Reporting in Southfield, Jessica Dupnak, Fox 2 News. Yeah, I bet that's going to be a good reunion when they finally get that beer or those six beers to split. In the meantime, when you think a look at the training that these firefighters go through, like you said, it's not every day that you run into a situation like this. You just thank goodness that you have guys like that on hand. Yeah, absolutely. We, we see these folks running into fires, but there's so much more to it. They're trained in water rescue, search and recovery, all kinds of things. And actually, just a couple weeks ago, they trained in this exact scenario. And this is why. And we're glad they did. Jessica Dupnek with some good news, at least a good ending there. We wish that man well. Thanks for that live report.